Hey yo together and very welcome to the Starcraft 2 Crazy Replay today with Activity on Echo Letter Edition. And we'll start right on. We got the Blue Terran spawning in the right bottom position. It's Ocelot. Hope that's pronounced correctly. And his opponent spawning in the left top corner of Echo. It's me, the Red Terran, Alex Usher. So, I have no clue why this TVT is so good. I don't know, but I marked it as cast it as crazy replay, so that's exactly what I'm doing here. And it looks like we see no supply depot. There we go, supply depot from Arcelot. A bit late. I wonder if this will cut into his SCV production. Because you can see he's like 5 seconds off, 4 to 5 seconds off with the supply depot. 7 seconds left, so yeah, this definitely will cut into his production, uh, which will give me a small but maybe important early lead with my economy. So he gets his barracks immediately after the supply depot, which is fine, but I'm getting the 11 gas and the 13 barracks, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Barracks on the way. Great, so. Uh, that was a 13 guess, I guess, from Ocelot, and he sends out a SUV to scout, which is never wrong, I mean, getting some information can't be bad. So his guess finishes right now, uh, I assume we are going to see Reaper, but I could be wrong, but normally if you get a 13 guess, you go for Reaper. 15 guess would be two marines with a factory. Uh, I guess he will see a Reaper, but no, it's a Marine first. Interesting. Very interesting. Looks like he wants to get a Supply Depot right there. Okay. So he still got a black spot here. A uh, dead, dead spot, or how you ever call it. And he's annoying with this little guy. Uh, will he get this SUV? Oh, what? what? Ooh, that's not good. Ah, uh, nice. And he escapes. Ooh, that's pesky as hell. Well then, well, well done there. So, there, there goes my lead. And yeah, we see a factory right behind that, and I guess a reactor as well. I'm not quite sure about this build. A second refinery. The reactor will not just finish in time. So, I guess this build isn't the crispiest one, but. He has a plan, that's the most important thing. He has indeed a plan. So yeah, let's see. I'm really interested in, in this build now. Uh, he could go for a Banshee because of the second refinery. Huh. Very interesting. So we see maybe it's just just a Hellion drop or anything like that. But I just don't know, it, it looks so 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 wrong, because normally with the Hellions you don't need a tech lab, okay. You don't, so maybe Banji, a uh, Hellion Banji, I, I, I can't tell. Oh wait, this is a factory, not a starport! And Hellions, so I guess we see Blue Flame Hellions. He pulled also some SUVs out there, so he just wants to get uh, the Blue Flame, I guess. Would be strange if he would do this just for a tank. I guess it's Blue Flame Hellions. And there is an engineering bay just in case of. Oh, come on. Just in case of uh, Benji. Is he getting the, the turret right now? No, he first wants to get. Where's this Blue Flame? Blue Flame is a bit. He's supply blocked. Uh, I'm not sure about this build. I mean, behind that I'm getting the Raven and more Marines. I mean, Blue Flame Hellions are awesome against Hellions, but imagine normally... Uh, okay, he scouted, but... Hmm, he hasn't seen the gas count, so... Oh, that's nice, seeing all those Hellions definitely helps. He scouts, he scans, but a Banshee could have killed him instantly because he got no turret. So I wonder what the engineering bay is for if he's not getting a safety turret. A Banshee would already have been hit here. Yeah. He's moving with the Hellions. 
Is he waiting for blue flame? It's so late. I mean, I got a tank. I got some marines there, a raven, a medivac, but blue flame is so strong. It looks like he's waiting for blue flame. Mm. Nice split with the hellions, nice positioning. And he's getting a command center behind that. A bit later than mine. Still no turrets. Okay, so I don't know if his build is good versus Banji. Is he getting... Oh... Is he... Okay, there's... There it is. I'm moving out. I see the Hellions. And he's moving in. Dropping the tank. Blue Flame just finished. Oh, grills through the Marines there. And all those... Uh, all those SCVs are under attack now, 6 gone so far, 8 in total, and he's getting a command center behind that, so 6 command center behind that. Oh, oh that's risky! Oh, 10 SCVs down so far, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 SCVs, oh, that was huge! But he wasted a lot of his army and now the counter attack will happen and he just got Hellions and to defend. There's a tank on the way but he needs a bunker. I guess a bunker could help at least buying himself a little bit of time. He needs it. And the tanks and the marines are moving out right now as well as the raven. And the raven got enough energy for 3 auto turrets or 2 hunter seeker missiles. And that means the tank could go down immediately or the turrets could do their, their thing. And uh, so economic wise, he's in a huge advantage. He's in a huge lead. He got the advantage on his side. But this attack, he's getting the bunker, and there's a tank at the, at, the, at the top right there, which is good. And it shoots on the marines. Oh, two down so far. Good thing. One tank will go down for sure. Uh, yes, there are the turrets. Ooh, one turret just. Mm, those marines, he pulls back with both command centers. There's one turret and one hunter seeker missile. We go down, the SUV dies, and uh, the tank dies as well to this tank. And it looks like, oh, the orbital command, it runs down. And those hell, yeah, yeah that's the problem. He just got hell, so it will fall. Economic wise he's looking okay with the harvesters, but he needs to defend and that's the big issue you got there uh, Vikings are landing. They are not too bad against Hellions, but the Hellions get repaired So I guess I will have to pay to, to pull back. There's one tank He tries to get the splash done mm, Both Vikings fall He pulls the SCVs and now we will see how many of those are going down 12 workers so far 13 workers so far and I saved the tank he morphed the third command center to an orbital command so that he got the second base immediately up again. Ah, uh, but now it's equal in harvesters. The problem is, I got the better army supply. Hellions are good. They're really good against marines. And I got a lot of them. But there are also three tanks. And I got still the raven. And the raven is so huge, so big, so important. Ooh, runs into that! Loses a hellion there. Let's be careful. I guess he's, yeah, going right round and maybe he wants to sneak in and kill more SCVs but the next attack is happening with 10 marines, 3 siege tanks, 2 medivacs and a raven and behind that he just got 1 tank and 3 aliens. he scans 2 times Ugh. and oh there's a tank and a viking he will kill some of those SCVs and, and mules down there but it's not that big of a deal Ooh, dropping right on top of those tanks. Not the best decision with the marines there, but the tank falls. The marines are coming down. Oh, that's looking not good, I guess. Oh, nice tank micro there with the medevac. He pulls back. And tanks are just so good against Hellions. And he will lose the next orbital command. If he loses this, then he's in a real problem. And the orbital command will fall. He just got one tank left and he isn't repairing it. Will he lose this tank? Yes, he will lose this tank. That's not good. Pulls everything now, but behind that, ooh, killing a good amount of workers there. But I guess that's not enough. 
Oh, they're, they're clumping like... Mm. But he can't hold at home. And that's GG. I guess with a better build, if he would have executed this build better, he would have maybe won. He got a huge lead. A really huge lead. He should have hit earlier, I guess, with the blue flame. I guess he should have gotten the turret. I know I w there was no Banji, but just in case, he didn't scout. If there, he didn't scout the gases. I don't know if he was 100% sure or not if there is no Banji. I guess the turret could have been important. I mean, he got the engineering way just in case he needs a turret. What he could have done is get the turret, let it finish to 99%. If a Banji moves in, finish the turret. If no Banji moves in, you need the minerals, cancel the turret. Just 25 minerals investment, but you're safe. That's the same thing you do versus the possibility of oracles, for example. Okay. Good game. I will cast three more, because I got some more replays to cast. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. I wish you, as always, a very nice day and...